Um, you know, I was happy with, with the way I played. Um, made some plays. We made some mistakes. Uh, threw that pick uh, going to the goal line and just under through Cody. Um, but, you know, I was happy with the way I played. I, I think we came out and, um, you know, we, we started fast. It was, I think it was the first time that we scored in the first drive, um, which was phenomenal. And uh, to come out and, and win the way that we did, it was really good. Can you talk about your touchdown run and basically outrunning their secondary? Yeah. Um, on the sideline, I, I'd been asking for that play. Um, uh, they, they were gassed, and when we can go no huddle and run something like that, um, uh, it, it, it works pretty well. And so um, my line did a phenomenal job. They got to their, their backers, and, and then um, their safety split. And so I was able to run right up the middle. and. Um, it became a foot race at that point, and, and luckily you know, I have ran him, so it was great. Running is obviously something you do well, but talk about uh, just reading defenses, passing, and uh, how would you feel out there? How do you feel you progressed in that area? I felt good. I felt comfortable. I felt confident. Um, I felt like for the most part I knew what defensively what Hawaii was doing. Um, we came out and uh, made a few adjustments, and you know, we, we uh, struggled a couple drives in the second half, but uh, came out and, and hit Cody on that uh, dig, and, um, and then you know, we went from there. But um, I was comfortable, I knew what we were doing, um, and our line played phenomenal tonight. Do you feel like you played well enough to earn the starting position going forward? Yeah, I'm not sure. Um, you know, that's, that's not my decision or anything like that, and um, you know, I won't get caught up in, in that right now. It seems like Riley was a really big supporter of you this week at practice. How did he help prepare you for your first start? Uh, Riley was great. Um, Riley's been through this. Uh, he's, he's a senior here, and uh, he, he has a lot of experience. Uh, he knows the team and um, what I was going into. And uh, all throughout the week, um, he was giving me pointers and everything else. And up until the game on the sideline, um, you know, he was another set, set of eyes for me, which was, which was really great. Jamal, how did it feel to um, you know kind of be thrust in there and, and get um, a lot of work tonight? It felt pretty good to um, come in at 17 and have them trust me like that. It seems like they really believe in me, and I'm glad to be on this team and just for that. What were your thoughts when Michael Lisa went down with the injury? I mean, did you know it was that bad and that you would be the main guy? After that? Um, I didn't know it was that bad. I just knew that he was injured for that play, and I thought just go in for that one. But when they told me he was injured, uh, I knew I had to just step up and just play my role, whatever it was, to carry the ball or block for Taysom. What happened on that second touchdown? You ran into Devin, and how'd that all happen? Uh, I don't know. I, he, he was there for me, so he basically just pulled me into the end zone. So I'm basically thanking him for it. Can you describe what it's like for a 17-year-old kid to how far you've come in such a short amount of time? Um, I have to, I'm maturing faster. I'm learning to mature faster because it's, it's pretty good. I know I, um, it's little jokes on the side that he can't sign for himself. His parents got to pay for him and stuff. <laughs> but it's just, they, it's okay, I can say. But I just like maturing faster. It's really helping me. Taysom, the offense has obviously struggled. How important was it to take that opening possession and drive 77 yards for a score? Yeah, it was huge. Uh, something that we had we talked about all week, and uh, we really emphasized in practice, um, running in and out of the huddle, starting fast, and doing things like that. And it showed showed today, and, and it started um, in Monday's practice. And uh, it was when you have a defense that's playing as well as ours is, when you can come out and score on an opening drive, um, that just gives us a great opportunity in the game. Taysom, when did you find out or know that you would be the starter tonight? Um, I mean, I had an idea at the beginning of the week, but it was solidified um, yesterday. What was it like when you did find out officially building up that you would be the starting quarterback for BYU, a team you've kind of known your whole life, that mm -hmm. you were going to have your moment? Yeah, I was, I was super excited. Um, and, and to come out and um, play the way that we did and, and win, was, was phenomenal. Um, I, was, I was extremely excited, and, and I had a pretty good idea on Monday that um, I was going to get a chance to go. Um, so the preparation was huge. Uh, Max, uh, Coach Doman, 
uh, those guys uh, were, were a big help. And, um, yeah, I was really excited, and I loved it. As far as uh, the offensive line, you mentioned that they played really well. There was some shuffling going on. What was the difference this week as opposed to when you went in last week or, uh, in their performance? Um, they are physical. You know, we came out, uh, me and I came out, and I think he, he had hurt a couple of players. Um, and we started fast, and I think we were able to start that fast because our line was playing the way that they did. And um, it, it was huge. I mean, any time I think we rushed for just under 400 yards, um, our line was getting to the linebackers and selling those guys. And uh, Jim Wall, Mike, and myself, and Paul later in the game were able to to make some runs and um, roll off a couple big ones. Well, the uh, status of, of, of Riley and Michael Leakes are, are up in the air for, for next week. Can you talk about uh, going into the next week as, as the possible starters? Um, possibly, but we basically don't think about starting. We mostly want to improve on what we need to do to win the next game. Yeah, I'd say that it's a tough, it's a tough situation to be in when um, you know, ultimately, it's it's not our call. It's not our decision. So uh, we'll come back Monday and, and prepare as if we're going to be the guys. And um, if we're called upon, then we'll go out and, and do our best. Jamal, with how physical the offensive line was tonight, how nice was it to run through those big open holes they had for you? Oh, it was wonderful. I just kept pumped up, hyped, ready to go. Because when you have a line that's like, like them, it's wonderful to run behind. Even when you're 16, you could be 14, 15. Holes like that is just wonderful to have when you have a lineman like that. Anything else for Taysom or Jamal?